We can't intervene in a world we can't see. We can't do something about and um, rectify and make a relationship better if we don't understand what we're actually looking for. And sometimes we throw these blanket statements over people without understanding that it sets them up to lose and us without the distinctions that helps us. Blessings and blessings, beautiful soul. My name is Preston Smiles, and I help people get free from the inside out, regardless of their external circumstances. And today's transmission is the power of perception and what it has to do with trust. Oof, this is such a juicy subject because so many people have so many breakdowns and breakups and scenarios occurring in their lives without the distinction and the understanding of what's really happening when it comes to trust. You see, oftentimes things occur and we say to ourselves, I don't trust you or I don't trust that person or I don't trust the the mayor. I don't trust the Democrats. I don't trust the Republicans. I don't trust my mom. I don't trust my ex-partner. That is one of the most vague statements in the world. And today we're going to break down what trust actually means. So trust has four components to it. The first one is the most important one, and that is sincerity. If we don't have sincerity, if the person or uh, institution or thing that you say you don't trust isn't sincere, then the other three don't even matter. So again, and we're, we'll use the backdrop of my beautiful father uh, as we break this down. So I can tell you right out the gate, my dad was super sincere. He was doing the best he could with the tools and consciousness that he had available to him. I trusted my dad's sincerity. Now let's go on to number two, which is care. The second component of trust is care. Now, does someone care about me? Does someone care about the dolphins? Does someone care about world peace, whatever we're pointing it at, the first place we go is, is this person sincere? The next place we go is, do they care about what I care about? Because this is where the trust can start to be broken down. Now, again, with my father, he absolutely cared. So check, check. So if I said, you know, when I was 18 or 21 or 31, I don't trust my dad. It was not in the area of sincerity and not in the area of care. Now, all of you begin to think about a time or a, a scenario in your life right now, where there's a person in your life that you currently don't trust or a scenario or a government or whatever it is that you don't trust. Go through this. Right now, we're at sincerity and care. Let's go to number three. The third component of trust is reliability. This is where you either can trust that they will show up for you or they won't. And when it comes to reliability, that is where it gets sticky for my father. Because one of the things we have to do when we say we don't care or, or, or we, or one of the things we have to do when we say we don't trust someone is we have to pull apart what it is that we don't trust them for. Right? So my dad was super sincere, super caring and super reliable when it came to telling me he was proud of me, telling me he loved me, telling me that and, and showing me that he loved me and showing me that he cared in particular domains. 
But my dad wasn't reliable when it came to providing for the family. My dad was not reliable when it came to him being bigger than the demons that were haunting him from his childhood. And so when times got tough and rough for him, sometimes he went to drugs. Sometimes he went to sex and prostitutes, right? This was, you know, again, I'm about the age my dad was when he was, you know, when I, when I remember him parenting me. And I, I can look now and think about all the guys who are my age, 42, 43, who are struggling right now. And I think, oh, that's how my dad was. He didn't have someone like me to coach him. He didn't have someone like me to help him process his trauma. He didn't have someone, a group, a mastermind of men who were holding the, uh, the bar very high and, and calling him to a bigger game. And so what he did was he folded, he collapsed in the face of challenge. And so component number three of trust is reliability. And in that sense, I could rely on him for certain things, but not for others. This leads me to the fourth aspect of trust, and that is competency. Does the person or institution or group know what they're doing? Are they competent in the thing that they are conveying? And so again, for some of you, this is a, a partner, right? You may believe that your wife, girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband is very sincere. You may think to yourself, this person definitely cares. Like I could feel their heart. I can rely on him to, you know, show up, take care of the kids, you know, X, Y, and Z. But she can't hold my heart. Mm, that's competency. But he can't deal with my emotions. Mm, that's competency. And so what I want you to hear in this is if this was a heterosexual relationship or even, a, you know, a, a queer or gay relationship or whatever, however you label it, a same sex relationship. When you say, I don't, I don't, I don't trust them. This is what you mean, right? You don't trust that they are competent. You don't trust that they'll show up. I have a friend who every time we would go out would show up, you know, we'd, we'd all be dressed sitting in the living room and 45 minutes later, this dude would come out. So do I think my friend was sincere? Yes. Do I think he cares about our friendship? Yes. Do I think that he's competent at being my friend? Yes. But can I rely on him to be on time? No. So when I say I don't trust him, it's I don't trust him to be on time. It's very specific. And by doing that and pulling that out, there's still space for me to trust him to, you know, have my back when I'm having a hard day, right? He's still, he's still good in that way. He's still um, useful in that way for me. And so for all of you listening to this, wherever you are, there's somebody right now, whether you've said it aloud or not, who you don't trust. And I want you to break this down. If you're watching this on YouTube, do it in the comments. Who is it and what aspect of trust? Because there's four, sincerity, care, reliability, and competency. Which one of those, it may be a combination of two, maybe a combination of three, but which one is the one that leads? Because we can't intervene in a world we can't see. We can't do something about and... Um, rectify and make a relationship better if we don't understand what we're actually looking for. And sometimes we throw these blanket statements over people without understanding that it sets them up to lose and us without the distinctions that helps us, right? This goes back to the power of perception because now I can perceive you different. I, I, my dad's 
extremely beautiful, extremely competent in a whole bunch of areas. He was competent in raising a little boy. He used to pour into me. He used to give me enough space. He didn't helicopter parent me. He used to speak to me and tell me how much of a leader I was. My dad was amazing and super competent in those areas and not so competent and not so reliable when it came to providing and leaving me. And this is my standard, right? This is me looking back as a child and also as an adult. But I, I can have that relationship. I can speak to that because I have the distinctions now. And so if this blessed you in any way, number one, let me know. Um, at Preston Smiles on Instagram. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, just drop a comment below and let me know it blessed you, right? Don't just watch and consume these things without, um, you know, reminding me. Because I need to know what's working and what feels good for you all. I am a storehouse of wisdom. I am in the game a lot. And yet I, I, I do require and request feedback. So there's, that's one. Number two, if you are someone who is craving a community, craving a space and a place to be for a while, I have a community called Sanctuary. Uh, it's where life coaching and spirituality meets. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the link will be in the bio. The link will be in the show notes. And uh, I just want you to know from the bottom of my heart that if you want a place to, 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 to come home to the self, you want a place where people actually know your name and, and truly care about you, sanctuary is it. So again, if you're looking for that community, go to thebridgemethod.org forward slash sanctuary and you will find a welcoming, beautiful pair of arms and eyes and ears. Uh, and it is extremely, extremely affordable right now. All you have to do is type in I am family in the code and it will take a ginormous amount of money off and make it literally dirt cheap. So I love you all. I hope to see you very soon and let's keep this conversation going. Blessings and blessings. Blessings and blessings.